What? Wait a minute there. Then, uh, Bryce Hall was deleted by his neighbors, his community, and his mayor. Boy, he had to do it, huh? And Jake Paul's back with a pact to delete all fears and shoot another music video on his block. Well, as the Brits would say, oh, that bloke. Hey, oh, we got your regular dose of hot, hot celebrity tea spills coming up on Chatter. Ready to pour? Ooh, scalding. Now, holla, 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 what's this we hear? Is TikTok dissing its number one influencer on their platform, namely Charlie, Charlie D'Amelio? Oh, come on. So what happened was, Charlie posted another video of where she's been seen dancing and having fun, you know, the huge. And since she's big on being authentic and presenting herself, that's what she shows her 80.8 million fans. You know how she shows this authenticity like more than once per day, right? And then you also know that her average posts get like around 50 to 80 million likes, right? Yeah, a million. So imagine one of those posts just disappears in less than like 30 minutes or even three minutes. What do you think's gonna happen? Well, apparently some fans download these posts, maybe as souvenirs or for later viewing. We all do that, right? Right. So with that deleted post, good thing that someone was able to download it or else we'd lose a precious Charlie post to oblivion. You wanna see the post? Check it out right here. It's just Charlie dancing inside her house and you think it's the kitchen? Check out those white walls, right? So her hair's pulled back in a pony. She's wearing a two-piece bikini. We think it's orangey-red or maybe it's ready-orange. Not sure what hue that is, but one thing's for sure. Charlie's always being her lovable, grooving self in this post. Nice. So, wait. What's wrong with this vid? Hmm. We're not so sure. And apparently, the fans aren't either. It's not like Charlie hasn't posted wearing a bikini before, right? Or wearing like a sports bra type of top or something comfy like that with her cute belly button and full cutie view, right? I mean, look at this one. And here, or here. I mean, come on, look. So when Charlie posted that latest bikini clad dancing vid, it was just like any other vid she posted before. That's why she tweeted this sad tweet on August 16th. Yeah, that is hashtag sad indeed, especially if there's no clear guideline on what's wrong with it. When fans quickly noted that said post was missing from Charlie's daily lineup, they just thought that the number one TikTok star on the planet just felt like deleting one of her uploads. Like what people do when they change their minds about a post, right? And now it's apparent that this deleting is such a mystery that even TikTok's guidelines can't explain it. So what does it fall under? Hmm, strange. TikTok, care to explain? Or we'll just pull out the popcorn again and wait. Okay, pop it. And speaking of getting deleted, told y'all we'll have more of this Bryce Hall brouhaha with the Los Angeles City Mayor after throwing a massive party, people. I mean, huge party last week for his 21st birthday bash. Well, as expected, Bryce got bashed big time on social media when news and videos of his awesome party were leaked. Like all over, all kinds of social. Did you see those male and female strippers giving Bryce some erotic lap dances and stuff? The Sway House sure swayed that night, right? More than 100 estimated guests in attendance. It's pretty clear that this house was packed. We all saw the same thing, right? Oh, wow. Well, apparently the LA mayor did too. So last August 20th, Mayor Eric Garcetti officially ordered the disconnection of the utilities of that party house in the Hollywood Hills. While the mayor tweeted his directive, I wasn't sure whether he was talking about the Sway House or Bryce Hall's own house. As it turns out, New York Times reporter Taylor Lorenz got the scoop the same day that it wasn't the huge influencer house that had its water supply and electricity cut off. But it was Bryce's private mansion on Hollywood Hills, the one where he's holed up with Blake Gray and Noah Beck, apparently. Well, good luck with taking a shower and charging up those phones, guys. When pressed for a reaction the day after his partay, Bryce was filmed riding a Triller van. Yep, that's TikTok's competitor, where he hid to avoid the paparazzi reporter following him. While he was previously happy and graceful with giving his comments to such ambush interviews, it was quite obvious that he didn't want to talk about, uh, last night. Hmm. Yeah, check him out here. And yeah, that same day, he even did a lip sync vid to Keisha's song, Take It Off, where he mouths the words, I don't give up. Then he makes a dirty finger gesture, like, twice. People automatically assume that that's his official reply to all the haters and naysayers out there. Hey, groove with it. Coronavirus be damned, right, Bryce? Yep, no remorse whatsoever. Okay, folks, you know the drill. More popcorn as this rolls like over. Just say when, Bryce. 
Okay, so it's like Jake Paul really wants all this controversy surrounding his fame to be uh, monetized. That's the YouTube buzz anyway, right? So for fans of this very, very brave man, the one who always parties like there's no tomorrow, then goes around places like there's no global pandemic, well, he's taking it up a notch once more. So apparently Jake deleted his own hesitations about making another music video in the wake of the controversial music video shoot slash party he put up last July. And as we earlier reported, that party was for his music video called Fresh Out of London, which he dropped on YouTube last July 25th. That's the party that the Calabasas mayor reacted to, since it was also apparent that no one was doing any social distancing there, only dancing and hanging around construction trucks and stuff, as you can see in the video. Yeah, groove to that, Jake. Spot the influencers and hangers on. Now, it seems that Jake wants to capitalize on that latest brush with officials that he had. Well, not like in the flesh, you know. I'm talking about that brouhaha with the FBI. Yep. <laughs> Those kind of officials, like Federal Bureau of Investigation folks. So, okay, remember how Jake's mansion was raided by the Fibby, and they had like a warrant and all, but it's super private, so they can't reveal its details to the public, but the agents took a lot of ammo with them that they confiscated from Jake's home. And yeah, Jake wasn't there at the time, and now maybe he's thinking he should have been. That's because he's now doing a casting call to look for extras that would appear in yet another music video for shooting sometime soon. Apparently, it's about his recreation of, wait for it, an FBI raiding her home. Hmm, now that is indeed such a stretch, Jake. I wonder who will star in it. Hmm. But it's true, and it's real. Jake had some casting ads posted on Backstage Magazine, and the publication circulated via email, and it's also up on their website. So Jake is looking to cast for a male supporting role. He ages from 24 to 53. Gee, such a stretch. Like, is there an FBI agent who's 24? Anyway, sorry we got distracted by that, so check out the production description for the project. Casting a music video for Jake Paul, which will be reenacting his recent run-in with the law. Okay, so maybe he'll also throw in some of those run-ins he had with officers prior to this FBI debacle. That might be a stretch. He could just actually fill out an entire three-minute music video with just that FBI incident. See, that he's also casting for males to act as paparazzi background talents. Though, did you notice in the casting call that there was a difference in the ethnicities he wanted for the roles? Like for the FBI, he's okay with trying out talents from all ethnicities, so that's very um, diversity-minded of him. But we're actually curious as to why he only wants extras who are Southeast Asians, or Pacific Islanders, or white, or of European descent. Um, should we tell him that not all Europeans are white? Okay, sorry, we got fixated again with that. Focus. So for anyone interested to appear in his music video, it looks like the shoot is going to be held in his mansion again, for sure, since the one ad listed his Calabasas, LA area as the rehearsal and production location. Hmm, wondering if Calabasas Mayor Elisa Weintraub already caught wind of this new scheme. Well, if ever this is pushing through, let's just hope that Jake takes precautionary measures this time for the cast, the crew, and everyone else who will be involved in the project. So, do you have your own theory of why TikTok deleted Charlie D'Amelio's video? What do you think Bryce Hall would do next about his living situation? And do you think this Jake Paul music video will push through under the watchful eye of the mayor? Speculate with your own tea and leave us a comment. Check back soon for another fresh serving here on Chatter.